What's up my people, bless up on yourself, welcome back to the channel, leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel and click the tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. So as usual my people, we have some things I'm going to share with you guys. So the first thing I'm going to share, a man John, I try to save him woman after them that were hotel in a grill. Ah, uh, you know what I mean? Full dry themselves. They are from Jamaica. So it look like them take a look of vacation. Right? A Jamaican has drowned after saving a companion of his at a hotel they were staying in the grill on Sunday. The identity of the deceased man and the hotel are not yet available at this time. However, preliminary reports are that the man and the woman had been staying at the property located on the west end in Negril since Friday when late Sunday morning the incident took place. It is understood that the woman was in the water when she got into difficulty. The man reportedly went to her aid while he managed to save the woman. He did not survive the rescue mission. Jaja R.I.P. to the man and condolences to his family. If you can't swim Careful in our water. Don't go too far. You understand? It look like say neither of them could have swim. You know what I mean? Because it look like say the man shocked and frightened and just run to the rescue of the female. And the even member say him can't swim. You understand? So, Jaja, be careful, people. You know what I mean? Be careful in our water if you can't swim. So we are gonna move on to over in a St. James with people. You know what I mean? The police themselves from the year start, them seize almost 200 machines. At least 179 illegal firearms have been seized in St. James Police Division since the start of this year. The most across the 19 police division. The St. James Police have also recorded 167 M-U-R-D-E-R-S and 100 shootings between January to November. This is the highest number of violent crimes in the 19 police division across the island. Assistant Commissioner of Police in charge of the Area 1 Police, Clifford Chambers, is confident that the St. James Police will maintain the, mo the momentum in removing illegal firearms out of the hands of criminals based on the volatility that we have observed in recent times we know the guns are out there but the efforts continue as the recoveries are giving us some good results we know that with good information and support from the citizenry we will continue to get the guns off the streets acp chamber said he was speaking with our news team following the Jamaica Constabulary Force 156th National Commemorative and Memorial Church Service at the Falmouth Seventh-day Adventist Church in Trelawney on Saturday. So guys, let me know what you're thinking at the comment section. It looks like it says a gun factory down at St. James. 179 machine. No man is a gun factory. Them have done them man. Ja, ja. So as I say people, leave your comments in the comment section. So we are going to move on. Person of interest, nab in Salt Spring, triple knockings and clappings involving kids. A person of interest relative to the November 6, 2023, triple knockings and clappings in Salt Spring, St. James, which tragically included two schoolboys among the victims, has been apprehended by the security forces. In what is being ill as a display of the Jamaica Constabulary Forces' diligence and commitment in tandem with support from its law enforcement partners, a breakthrough was made in the pursuit of the person of interest on Friday. In a release, the police said from 3.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. on Friday, a coordinated intelligence-led operation was carried out in Barrytown, St. James, which ended with the apprehension 
of the person of interest. The release said the detailed operation, a joint effort between the JCF and JDF, targeted a guest house in Barrytown. The police said a joint team of security personnel swiftly entered the premises and conducted a comprehensive search resulting in the person of interest being found and detained without issue. The individual is now in police custody and is said to be contributing to the ongoing investigations rel relative to the triple knockings and clappings. So it looked to me right now, my people, like this person with them all on pan, he might give them information. So very soon, they may hold on pan other persons who was involved in that knockings and clappings. You see me, I say, so big up to the police, them. You know what I mean? Job well done. This man deserves to get hold on pan. So we are going to move on, people, to over in a St. Anne. Elderly man SHOT and him drop out in a St. Anne. A 60 year old man was shot and killed by unknown assailants in Steertown, St. Anne, on Sunday morning. The deceased has been identified as Paul Campbell, a driver of Ibiscus Way, Priory, St. Anne. According to the police, around 11 40 a.m residents heard explosions and called them when the police arrived on the scene campbell was seen in a blue toyota ice minibus with gunshot wounds to the crown he was to, he was taken to hospital where death was confirmed in recent times the police have reported a flare-up of gang killings in steertown community some residents are concerned about the brazen daylight killing. Shauna McKenzie, a resident, said the incident is very shocking. Around midday blazing sun may hear the um, SHOT them. On a Sunday too, the serious man, we know people dead around here sometimes, but not in broad daylight like this one. It's sad, bad, bad, she said. She has called for more police presence in the area. Nobody not safe right now. Me can only hope say the police them presence can stop them something here because people want to go about them business freely, Mackenzie said. The ex must have come up now and we don't want no whole heap of killing in other place. Me hope say this no create no other killing, she said. Why people? Leave your comments and let me know what you guys think in the, in the comment section. This man here was a 60-year-old man. I wouldn't could have involved in a so. So, we are going to move on, people, to a place named Claremont, in a saint and also. A 46-year-old laborer was shot and killed by unknown assailant in Claremont, St. Anne, on Saturday night. The deceased is Damian Johnson, otherwise called Birdman, of Lidford District in Claremont. Reports are that about 9.30 p.m., residents heard explosions in the area and alerted the police. On their arrival, Johnson was seen with gunshot wounds. He was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E no motive has yet been established for the gun attack why people you look like say saint Anne, turn up so after the every rainfall we get people for a couple of days now it is being said that a hurricane a approach jamaica and by mostly thursday it are gonna reach landfall so why people you no know, prepare yourself again ja, ja. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.